It is true, Sheba, that chivalry is not dead at it the Stampede not. Grounds of the last couple of days. That's right. There are men who are opening up doors for ladies. Yes. They're stepping up. May I help you with this? May I help you with that? Yeah. Chivalry is not dead. Chivalry is not Thank dead. Thank you, Calgary Stampede. It's part, that's why. Hey, you know what? It's Calgary period. We have some gentlemen here. We have great Western hospitality, and you can see yeah. it all year round, of course, especially during the Stampede. I bet you these three ladies concur with me when I say about chivalry. Ladies, yeah. but do you know who these three are? Royalty in the house. <laughs> Man. Awesome. Stampede Princesses <laughs> and the Queen <laughs> of the it's, it's true. Um, introduce these three, if you wouldn't mind. We've got Mick, our Stampede yes. Queen. We've got Haley, Haley. 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 and we've got Kimberly, yeah. our other Stampede Princess. Thank you so much, ladies, for thanks being for, here. Thanks for Chivalry's being not dead. No. That is true. No. You finding that? Yeah, our drivers have actually, we get to go, uh, we are lucky enough that our courtesy car drivers, with the, they're a committee with the Stampede, and they, uh, they drive us all around to where we need to go, and they hold the door open for us. They even grab our hand when we need to get out. Uh, and when in skirts, it's actually very handy because sometimes that's a little bit hard to get out of the I car bet. with them. So they are great. They've been awesome doing that. So Would you say they content. treat you like princesses? Oh. <laughs> oh, they do. Oh, they Make do. you find the same thing too as a queen? I mean, especially you're the, the leader of this pack. I don't know if I'm the leader. Sometimes I have to walk in or on stage first and ride my horse in first. But other than that, that's kind of the only difference. But um, so I found that it's been really nice. Uh, gentlemen who might not even be involved with the Stampede, but are just at certain events that we're at. If we're walking on or off stage, mm. they'll always be more than willing to offer a hand, offer hand. to help us up. Um, they will open the doors for us. They are more than happy to go and run and get us uh, like waters or if we're yeah. thirsty. Um, that's really been nice. And it's always just the, the funny, you're not sure if they're a real cowboy or not, but they'll just walk up and they'll be like, lady. Oh, <laughs> like, oh that's on. cute. That that is is <laughs> and of course, Haley, I'm going to direct this question to you. Is, sure. uh, oh, part of your job is to be ambassadors for the Calgary Stampede year round and to, mm. of course, share that Western hospitality with the world. Can you talk a little bit more about the role that you have and just how important it is? I mean, you are representing Calgary in a certain way. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Yeah, so like you said, we are ambassadors for the Stampede. We do close to 400 events over the course of our year, and that does include the 10 days of Stampede. I think it works out to about 175 events just during this 10 days, give yeah. or take. So it is important for us to always have our smiles on and to really give a good message out regarding the Stampede. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as the winter went, we did lots of charity events, mix and mingle stuff, stuff like that. And then as we got into the springtime, we had a few big trips. We did get to go to Germany this year wow. for a tourism trade show. Brilliant. and then also to Kentucky at the end of March. And then we just got back from Victoria not too long ago. We were out there on the HMCS Calgary. It's a big Navy ship named after our city and we got to go bomb around on the ocean. And <laughs> Don't say bomb those. around, but I, we get you. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. been busy for it was, sure. It was, back in it was back in September that I met these three for the first yes. time. Yeah. Um, they were at the Agrium. And you three may remember That's that. That first crowned. moment. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's a lot yes, of yes. ladies, a lot of beautiful young women who would love to do and sit in the seats that you are. Any advice? Mick, we'll start with you that you'd like to give to these ladies. Sure. Because your reign is up for another couple of months and that's it. Yeah, so uh, we're about three quarters of the way through. Yeah. We have the last quarter left. It's just like a football game, the Aww. best for last. We're Aww. having a great time. Um, so we all are cognizant of the upcoming uh, competition. And I guess for any of the young ladies out there who are interested in, in applying, I would say go for it. You never know what's going to happen. And just remember, it's not at all a beauty pageant. Like you're never judged on how nice your hair is or what clothes you're wearing because when you are crowned, right. you have sponsors that take care of all of that. So they just want to make sure that you have a beautiful personality and that you're a personal person who can poised. be poised and who can be genuine. So just be genuine, be yourself and don't worry about it. Uh, they're amazing. <laughs> and Kimberly, I'm coming to you for this next Sounds one. Good. Okay, so the Calgary Stampede obviously is the busiest time of the year for you ladies. Can you just talk about a day in the life? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, I'll give you an example. So for today, we were uh, we were up in pretty early, and a lot of the week we're doing pancake breakfast. I think we have minimum 
three three a day kind mm -hmm. of thing. Uh, do some lunches, uh, some sponsorship visits. We'll uh, we'll do grand entry. So we open up the rodeo every day uh, for the for the entire ten days. We'll do a grand entry lap uh, to kind of welcome all the Calgarians and Canadians and people from all parts of the world to, to come down to the Stampede. And uh, it's when they introduce all the cowboys and cowgirls too. Uh, we'll go do some more sweet visits and uh, then come back for what's called Happy Trails. And it's when we just close out the rodeo, say thank you all for coming. I mm. uh, hope you had a great time. And then we'll uh, do a few more sweet visits and go and visit some more uh, visits wow. more with some people. Do a quick change back at the hotel and then come back for Grandstand Show where we do a Grandstand yeah. speech to, to open the Grandstand. It never ends. <laughs> so you're up at 5 and done about 10, 11. Who's looking forward to sleeping in Monday morning? <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yep. Okay, well, just quickly, oh. what's next? What's next? What happens after the stampede yeah. is over Maybe. and after you've passed down your passed on your crown? Sure. Well, uh, so we will still be busy through the last part of July, August, and of course through September because not only do we do events through September, right. but we help out with the competition as well. And then for myself, I'm um, having. A background in agriculture, I'd really like to get back into doing something like that. Maybe on the, the crop management side of things, but we'll see. Here for you. Yeah. Haley? Yeah, so it does slow down a little bit after Stampede. I'm hopefully going to get back to work for a little bit. I just graduated last fall with a business degree from University of Calgary. Nice. So I'm kind of in limbo right now between big girl job and <laughs> graduating. So I've been working for my dad for this for the most of the year. and. We'll see what happens come October once we pass the crowns and see how it goes. As someone with the big yeah. girl job, uh, have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Have some yeah, fun. Yeah. yeah, so uh, for me, I had to take the year off uh, to do this role. I just figured that might be the best uh, idea for me. And so I'm going to go back and finish up my degree in zoology, zoology at the University yeah. of Calgary and then hopefully apply into the vet program that they have here. So we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Mick, Haley, Kimberly, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming and on. And thank, thank you for you representing guys. our Good city, our province, our country so well. Thank you very much, you three. Yeah, thank you very much. Always so great seeing you three. You're going to love this too because we had them on a couple of days ago they're Aww. little the little four-legged creatures one actually jumped on my back Sheba, and wouldn't let me go Ness, I miss you. super dogs <laughs> here's more all right we're here at the president's choice super dogs everyone knows what this show is during the stampede and this year's theme is holly wolf and we're here with one of the holly wolfers this is slinky dog from the toy story movie now jen this is your dog but you have more than just one dog how many dogs do you have in super dog i have five dogs here at the super dog show with me this year and is she the only one that's performing? She was the only one performing in the last show, but what we do is we try and rotate the dogs through to fit the roles for the show, um, thus basically showing the audience what kind of an array of dogs that we have, how they're differently trained, and uh, then of course nobody gets too tired. Of course, so if, if they don't want to go out, they don't have to go out. That's right, absolutely. And we just sub another dog in. Pretty much. Okay, so now Murphy Brown, you're gonna teach, Ooh. I'm gonna try to teach you a couple little moves today, you little cutie dumpling. Uh, her real name's Murphy Brown, Brown, but Slinky Dog, we're going to try yes. to teach you a couple moves, and Jen, you're going to teach me how they're going to look. We're going to try. Okay, so let's do that. Sounds good. So <laughs> Slinky Dog is going to get her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and how are we going to get her to do that? First of all, I think we need a blingy collar. We need a little bit of bling for Tinseltown, right? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to we're going to load you up with your accessory. Oh, okay, you're looking gorgeous. You're girl. ready for your premiere. Excellent. And, and how's this going to look? All right, so basically what we want to do is we need the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What we need to do is she needs to get to her star and own that star. Okay, let's try it. Ready, ready, set, go. <gasps> That's the way. Amazing. Okay, I think I got this. Okay. Slinky, come on back. And let's see if I got this. Okay, we've got your little treat. Okay, here we go. And go. And then down. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so I'm officially a dog you trainer are. for Super Dog. You got a spot in the show, I think. That was awesome. Okay, but I can teach her how to jump now. I think we could do that. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Slinky Dog. Good girl. Good girl. Are you ready? Good girl. Ready, set, go. Good girl, jump! Pretty Murphy Tunnel! Yeah, good girl! Go! All right, Jen, you've taught me how to be the best trainer I can be. I think I can jump with Slinky Dog. Here we go, are you ready? Let's do this together. Jump! Jump! One more! Jump! Well, there you have it. It looks like if you want to be a super dog trainer, come talk to the trainers here. Get a great dog for Shaw Saddle Up. I'm Ryan, and that was Slinky Dog.